Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We're back again with another video and <laughs> the woke culture just keeps coming, folks. That's what you're dealing with right now. The tearing down of statues, the defacing of monuments, the constant protests, the autonomous zones. You're dealing with woke culture. We've been dealing with it in comic books, in movies, in TV for a very long time. Uh, it's been attempting to take over entertainment. And this is just an example of that entertainment being taken over. Uh, which is just absolutely stupid. You have here the Dixie Chicks change their name. Dropping the Dixie. The platinum selling country trio will be known as the Chicks. The latest example of sweeping cultural changes brought on by nationwide protests. Now, but here, let me tell you something. Uh, the, the Chicks... Uh, basically have sold out. Just like NASCAR is sold out with the whole noose thing. i got to do a video on that, actually, at some point. But you have you have a situation here where it's like, what, 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 what more changes are you going to make? Okay? Can we no longer call them Dixie Cups? We're just going to call them the Cups? Uh, what about Dixie Stampede? We're not going to call it the Dixie Stampede. We're going to call it the Stampede. Um... It's just this, this same bull crap. The, the reason why Southern culture gets attacked all the time, and I, I've said this before, it is just to set Yankee culture up for annihilation. You don't believe me. They're tearing down Lincoln. They're tearing down Grant. They're tearing down Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Where did they start? They started down in the South. They started by tearing down Confederate statues. They started tearing down Confederate monuments. Why? Because these were easy targets. And it sets up the narrative of, well, whatever these people tear down must be racist. It must be wrong. And so when they go and start tearing down, tearing statues down, understand something, though. The Yanks up there, y'all are not the first ones to start fighting this nonsense. Confederates did this. Southerners did this. Back when they started tearing down statues. In fact, there was one fight in particular where the town, the, the men and women of the town got out there. They formed a semicircle, Lord Antifa in, and just enclosed on them. Because one thing, and that's the thing that I would tell a lot of you Yankees, y'all need to stop, take a moment, and take a few lessons from Southerners. We will draw you into the, let you draw you into the crowd and just kind of semicircle the agitator and then catch him when he's in there and then he's kind of fucked at that point. But that ended up almost being such a massacre that the police jumped in there and said, oh crap, because I think it was the assistant mayor or someone was a part of him and they realized, crap, he's going to get his ass beaten here and we're going to get blamed for it. So they had to go in there and actually attack their own citizens to keep the other guy from getting his butt kicked so they could keep their dadgum job. I now look at that and think, really, do you think you could probably, do you think you could get those police officers to jump in there and save an assistant mayor inside of a, an Antifa protest while the citizens are whooping the crap out of them? I don't think that's going to happen today. <laughs> It happened then because they thought they were being supported. It ain't going to happen now. But this is this is just one more thing. Like if, if the left decides they want to go after another ban, who will they go after? They go after Black Sabbath? Are they going to tell those guys, uh, you got to take Black out of your name. You're just the Sabbath now. What about Led Zeppelin? Oh, you know, Zeppelins, Zeppelins were invented by Germany. Uh, Y'all just going to be known as Led. You see how this stupidity keeps going. It starts, they start picking a battle with someone. In this case, Southern culture is one of those things. Southern history is one of those areas of the country that is very easy for these people to attack because all they do is they go and they say it's racist. Most Northerners, that's what they believe. They believe the South is racist after years of being indoctrinated that the South is racist. I'm going to tell you something right now. The South is not racist. We look at the KKK as a joke and a mistake. Most of us, we we, fant we don't fantasize. We respect what happened during the Civil War. We respect the men that went and died. Not because they were in the right, but because they went out there and fought a war that was started by a bunch of rich, rich pricks. 
Because if you was a slave owner, that's what you were. You were rich. You had to. You owned people and had to take care of those people. You had to have money to do that crap. Most people who were poor that fought in the Civil War. Hell, uh, Jackson, for instance, Stonewall Jackson. Many of his men did not even have the money to buy shoes. They fought. Mo- there were men in his unit that fought their entire military career barefoot. And that's a historical fact. They even beat the. What's funny is barefoot hillbillies could beat the cavalry in a foot race. <laughs> Actually, there was one battle in particular where Stonewall Jackson was sitting there with his uh, with his soldiers, and they were doing mop up operations in a battle. The cavalry got called in to support. I think it was like Lee or one of the other generals. And they, Jackson's like, yeah, y'all go do that. We'll be there shortly. And when the cavalry got there, Jackson was miraculously on the battlefield, beating the daylights out of people (laughs) out there, leading his men directly into the thick of things. And the cavalry shows up. They're like, ah, how did Jackson get here so fast? Half his men had, like over half his men, I think, were like I said, were barefoot. They were improperly equipped. They still kicked butt. They, They were poor people. If you didn't have no shoes, you're pretty freaking poor in the United States. Let me tell you. Black people testify, okay? Y'all have some Air Jordans somewhere. Y'all got some shoes, okay? You have to be a pretty poor dude to not have any shoes in this country, all right? <laughs> or you have to be wearing them out. You have to be sitting there like, oh, I just don't want to buy them. It's like me. I, I wear my boots down till they almost disintegrate. <laughs> it's pathetic because my wife, she gets mad. She's like, you need a pair of shoes for dress and a pair of shoes for work. And I usually just run on one pair of boots. That's it. I wear them. I'll wear them out to the seams bust loose. But like I said, they use the left right now is using Southern culture. These communists are using Southern culture to condition, to try and condition Northerners into inaction because they make this, they, they try to make this, the connection there that this is racist, therefore we're getting rid of it. So when they come after your stuff, when they come after Lincoln and many others, the whole, this whole thing with the Lincoln Memorial got started because some dude showed a photo on the internet of Lincoln from an angle that made the Lincoln Memorial or made the the Lincoln statue, the Emancipation Memorial look like Lincoln was patting a black man, the black man in there on the head. And if you look at it from a frontal angle, his hand is behind the man, almost as if he's lifting him up. And that is the purpose of the statue. It is black people being lifted out of slavery. They've been, they've been freed, almost to the point of, it's like you, you kneeling before a king, and the king says, no, I respect you too much to do this. Do not insult me by getting on your knees. Stand up, man. I have respect for you. You are an equal to me. That's what the statue represents. Now, <clears throat> some idiot comes along, gives a doctored photo angle of the of the freaking statue, and says, this is just a little wrong, and starts a, a movement of people to go out there and tear the statue down. Congratulations, Yankees. They're coming after your stuff. Y'all need to fight. Over in Washington, let me tell y'all something. Y'all people in D.C., y'all need to get you some batons and some bats and take a page from our uh, Southerners. Go down there with your police parkers. Right now, y'all sitting on much better ground than we were. Okay? We sat down here in the South, and when we were defending our statues, we had the police in opposition. It was the citizens against the government. Right now, you got the government. Quite possibly, the cops are going to get on your side. You show up down there and say, hey, uh, we're going to sit behind you guys, and if any of y'all thin them out, if any of them gets through, we'll catch them and, and we'll hold them for you. We'll implement citizen's arrest right now and go in. Also, remember, folks, you got to wear a COVID mask, so be sure to mask up to protect your identity. I mean, protect yourselves from COVID. Anyway, I'm the last Raider. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was a little shorter. I may have gone a little longer, but if you, whatever it is, anyway... Thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos as often as I can. And as always, folks, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.